Three. <laughs> I don't know. This is weird to be on uh, TV that's being recorded on a TV. <laughs> that's all right. It's, it's good to be a part of the Matrix. How's it going at DogCon? Let me hear you. Woo! hoping we make some noise today. I, I have a couple things prepped to read to you, just random stuff, just to uh, whet your doggy appetite or something like that. Uh, but at the end of this, I've only got a couple minutes, I think, like 15, 20 minutes. At the end of this, I have a raw dog screaming uh, quiz with prizes. Nice. Um, all right. We'll see. <laughs> And, uh, gee, I wish I was there. This is really cool, you guys, to, to have me be a part of this uh, virtually. I think that's tricky behind the light. I just see a big girl in the light. That's tricky. It's all right. Let's see if I, if I tilt this down. Oh, yeah, see okay. More people. <laughs> Leland is suddenly closing his legs. That's good. <laughs> all right. No comments. You need to get that on tape as well. <laughs> Cool, you got chairs set up and everything. Uh, I'll just read some things, okay? Thank yes. you for indulging me with this. All right. Uh, whenever I do a reading, I like to read something kind of fresh off the uh, computer that I've written, which means it's usually bad. But actually, <laughs> <laughs> this one, it, it, it might be terrible, but I'm going to read it anyway. This might give you some insights into my writing process. Uh, <laughs> this is called The Intelligent Zombia which is supposed to, I originally start off, started off with the intelligentsia, and somehow I added the word zombie. And it goes like this. It's a poem. You'd think there would be some smart ones with all the right brain food, and you'd be right. While the idiot foot-draggers lumber after the panicked, the wise ones are waiting, hiding in your library, licking their flaccid lips. As you watch the feasting below through your binoculars, Safe above the fray in your proverbial ivory tower, as snugly ensconced as your brain in its own casing, thinking you're so smart. See, you can write zombie poetry about things. I mean. <laughs> <It's a> <laughs> It's okay that I read these, Heidi. Uh, these were the blurbs I sent you. Oh yeah, since I didn't get to put them on the Jones soda. Yes. <laughs> All right. These were originally intended to be on a soda pop label, uh, and Heidi, uh, I sent her two short, short poems to fit on that. This was the first one. It was actually a Twitter poem first, called "The Vintage of Skin." Our body's a bottle of. Blood, just like wine, but flesh is all cork and could pop any time. Uh, <laughs> here's another one. Uh, there's no title to it, though. It just says, There's a secret soda served at dog fights. The makers dunk Dalmatians into vats of sassafras till they drown in the drink. The carbonation yelps when poured. It's called... Barks root beer. <laughs> oh, and everyone loves the floats. <laughs> you gotta take it up a notch sometimes. <laughs>